fence drill begins with the knob of the bat on the batter's abdomen straight out towards the fence. That's the starting position. He brings the bat back up into his regular hitting position and he's going to go through his swing using the fence as a barrier out front. This allows him to work on the proper sequence of the swing and with the proper sequence of the swing he's allowed to swing he's allowed to swing the bat keep his hands inside and swing properly. If his swing was to get out of sequence in other words if his upper body would go first before his hips would rotate then he would make contact with the fence. When the swing gets out of sequence and the hitter leads with his shoulders or his hands first, then he would make contact with a fence. It's a very good drill to work on the sequence of the swing where upon front foot contact, the back heel comes up, the hips begin to rotate, then the upper body, and last of all, the bat. With a left-hand hitter, the drill is exactly the same. The batter starts with the knob of the bat into his abdomen, the end of the bat against the screen. The hips clear the way for the hands to come in close to the body, thus giving us a short, quick swing. A progressive variation of this drill would be to combine the fence drill with the front toss drill. It's recommended that a hitter would do 25 repetitions in one practice session.